Hey, it's Machine Dana. I hope you're having a brilliant day. In this video, I'm going to be running through my favorite Stream Deck plugins. So the title of this video is probably going to be something around the lines of best Stream Deck plugins or something like that. But as with everything, it's fully just my opinion. And you'll probably have different opinions, and that's absolutely fine. If you do have different opinions, drop your comments below. Let me know the plugins that you found useful from the Elgato Stream Deck. But I'm going to be running through in a sort of moderate degree of detail what my top stream deck plugins are you may have seen some of my other videos already if you've not check out the playlist i'll drop some of the videos in the description below and i'll link like a card there for a playlist or something like that because i've used the stream deck so much i've been able to establish what are good and bad plugins and the ones that i found most useful as a streamer on twitch if you want to know how you can install plugins i've done a video about that i will link that on the card as well and in the description below hopefully you find it useful if you do do me a favor hit the like feel free to subscribe to the channel and let's go First up, a quick word from my sponsors and partners, Owned.tv. Owned.tv also do Stream Deck icons, and these are interactive icons. Some of them are static, some of them are even themed to certain games as well. And the best part is, if you use code MACHINE at checkout, you're going to get 50% off the price of the Stream Deck icons. Let me know which ones you went for in the comments below. I particularly like these purple ones here, really, really nice, and they fit really well with my branding. First and foremost, I play music on my stream all the time. Literally, there's not a moment where there's not music playing. Most of the time, it's nice ambient and chilled stuff, but I also quite like some of the synth wave stuff and things like that. So for me, music is super, super important to my stream and it's not always convenient for me to open up Spotify and start playing around with it. I really enjoy the Elgato Stream Deck plugin which is from Bar Raider which allows you to integrate the Spotify buttons. Now I've done a much more detailed tutorial which I'll place on the card over there and in the description below on exactly how you can set this up but when you click into it there's loads of stuff you can do here at the press of a button. You can play and pause, skip forward and backwards. We can set volume to a specific level so I want the volume value you in this case to be 90 or 60 or 40 percent but we can also move up in increments as well so the volume value i want to move up in increments of 10 so i've set this to be 10 or down in increments of 10. we can mute or unmute and we can also copy song information as well which will copy the title of the artist to the clipboard this one here is a system key which will launch spotify from the stream deck it's not actually a part of the bar raiders plugin here this is just the standard stream deck plugin which is part of the system keys which you'll see over here to launch using the open key here and the rest of these keys are just images so they're hot keys which i've assigned an image to but i've not assigned a key to it which basically makes it a dummy key but that i've got a picture on that makes it look a lot nicer i found this spotify plugin to be super cool there's just loads of stuff you can do with it and it's super convenient next up we've got philips hue or any kind of lighting plugin from elgato now you might not use philips hue that's the one that i use but there's a chance that if you use something else that there may be a plugin available for it if you just go on the elgato plugin store and do a search for it let's take a look for light you can see here i've just searched for lighting and there's loads of different plugins available for example lighting lighter for hue we've got lifex control color iq flight tracker that's not a light oh the word light is literally within the word flight <laughs> Using this Philips Hue plugin, I really like it because it allows me to, on the fly, just change the mood of the stream. Now, you, you probably see in the background the lights here. They're kind of subtle, but at night time, I'm actually filming during the day now, but at night time, this is a lot more kind of cool and intensified the colors. Plus, I'll sometimes have the lights down a little bit low from my face lights here. So the intensity can be changed at any point. And I even let my viewers on Twitch use their channel points to select the light colors that they want to change to. So for example, if someone wants to change to red, they can do that and it will just change it to red. The great thing in particular about the Philips Hue plugin is that you can have both scenes and colors. So you can set it to be a specific color and literally down to the hex value, you can choose a color or you can go to a scene and actually create scenes from within the Philips Hue app on your mobile phone. So I've set one here called Concentrate. This one will just change it to a concentrate -y type vibe and then I'll be able to concentrate. It's probably a bad example because that's a very subtle one. Let's have a look. Wow, I can concentrate so much more now. 
Man, I'm so struggling to concentrate now that I've not got that lighting on. Next up, we've probably got my favorite plugin of all, and I've done numerous videos about the Bar Raider Mover and Resizer plugin. Bar Raider, it's an amazing plugin. There are two main videos I've done about this, and I'll link them on the cards and in the description below, but it just allows you to press a button and place the windows that you are using on a specific part of your monitor. This is super useful if you want to move things across multiple monitors at the push of one button. When you combine the Stream Deck plugin for Mover and Resizer with a multi-action switch, which is a default Stream Deck plugin, it becomes super, super powerful. It just allows you to do some really, really incredible stuff on stream. Honestly, when you install it, you will absolutely love that. There's just so many different configurations that you can use. And even if you're just running one or two monitors, you'll still find it really, really useful because it can resize the windows within a single monitor as well. So it just saves you loads of time. Next up, number four, one of my favorite plugins. So simple and easy. We click into this here and we've got a internet speed test. So when I click this button, it will run an internet speed test against my existing internet and it will tell me what my upload, download and ping are. So I'll just press that now. It takes a couple of seconds, but it will run the speed test for you rather than you having to go onto a browser and do it separately say for example through google or something like that there we go you can see i've got tier one internet for download 862 megabits but the upload a little bit weaker 50 megabits per second upload speed and that was done at two minutes to three today oh this is cool i didn't realize but you can auto run this every certain number of minutes so if you want this to run once every hour or once every 20 minutes you can just then eyeball it without you even having to click the button which i think is quite a cool little feature sometimes the best plugins are the most simplest and this is a great example of plugins that don't have to to do super complicated things to be really really useful for you as a streamer on twitch number five is one that i use pretty much every single stream that i do now i stream quite a lot of rust and first person shooters where i really need to be able to hear what's going on but i use a go xlr and i also really like to have music on my stream now most of the time when i'm playing games where i don't need to listen for footsteps and stuff like that i enjoy listening to the music as well as my viewers and most of the time, it's just ambient, chill music that's playing. But there are some instances when I'm playing those first-person shooters where I really just don't need the music on, and I want to be able to quickly switch off the music, but I don't want to switch it off for Twitch viewers. So with the GoXLR integration between the Stream Deck and the GoXLR, it allows you to route exactly which channel hears. I've done a much more detailed video about this. So again, I'll link that on the description below. But pressing this button just allows me to turn off the music for myself, but leave it on for the viewers. Now you may have another situation here where you might want to be listening to music all the time. But you may not want your viewers to be able to hear it. So the reverse is true as well. You can do the opposite to what I've just described and have it so that the viewers cannot hear the music and you can hear the music. There's a load of other things that you can do on that integration and, and that's because of the GoXLR software itself. You can basically route any audio channel through any other audio channel at the push of a button on the Stream Deck, which is super, super convenient. I literally use this every single stream. So as you can see here, I've got this button called the Music Toggle and what this uses is the GoXLR Routing Table Change feature. Now there aren't many different things that you can do with the GoXLR, but the stuff that you can do is super convenient as I've described. So here I'm able to give it a name. I can input something like, for example, I want to input the music and I want it to output onto my headphones. And then the action is to toggle it on or off. Now, the way that this works, if I just open up the GoXLR software, it uses the routing table here. And what that will do, it will have the music here to be toggled off and on to my headphones simple and straightforward but you can see that the music doesn't change on the broadcast stream mix which is where the music's playing through for the viewers through my obs studio so if i toggle it off i'm not hearing the music but my stream still is hearing the music. It's super simple, it's super straightforward, but it's such a great little tool to have at your disposal without you having to faff about opening up the GoXLR software, tweaking OBS sliders, and it's just so inconvenient. Click a button, done. Now the final thing I'm gonna mention, and it's not technically a plugin because it's, well, it technically is a plugin because it's a function of the Stream Deck, but it's not one that you can uninstall per se, is the Stream Deck default button for multi-actions and multi-action switches. Using these just allows you to do a million different things at the push of a button. Now, I've done a few different videos about multi-action switches. Feel free to check them out, but these are incredibly powerful. So I wanted to give multi-action switches from the Elgato Stream Deck a honorable 
mention because even though it's not something that you can uninstall or install, it's there as default. I use these a lot. Like every single stream, I'm using multiple different types. I find it incredibly useful. It gives you just so much flexibility. The Stream Deck multi-action just allows you to toggle between a set of actions that you can define and add or a set of new actions and it will toggle between the two. Whereas a multi-action will just allow you to press a button and a load of defined actions will take place. For example, switching on your lights, opening up an application, changing a camera view, launching another program, all kinds of weird stuff. Like you just define it how to do whatever you want it to do. So that was the best Stream Deck plugins using the amazing Elgato Stream Deck. Obviously, it's just my opinion. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me. Check the comments below. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and sub. See you later.